up you guys time is back one of the linton's video today i have a fragrance from the house of j parlay now i'm not sure if that's how you say it i'm just doing the french thing because this fragrance is made in france uh the company is j parlay now or is it g parlay j parlay i don't know but i'm you know it sounds cool to just say j parlay um g-e-p-a-r-l-y-s now this was a uh, subscriber request and again you know I try to do the videos for the people because honestly guys without you there'd be no point in doing these videos right and again thank you guys a lot for subscribing thanks for the comments thanks for the likes all of it means the world to me again being played on your electronic devices is so damn cool okay um, and if you guys enjoy this type of content, I know you guys do. That's why you're here. You like the fragrances. You like to smell good. Who the hell doesn't? Because I know I sure the hell do. Even, even if you don't. Look, there have been a few times where us fragheads, you guys know what I'm talking about. Man, if, if you go a day, you wake up and you just forget, like before you go to work. Maybe you got one of those jobs that start a little bit after like 10 o'clock a.m., okay? Because you can't do this if you work earlier. But say you go out to work and you forget to spray something on. Don't you just run to like TJ Maxx or Marshalls or one of those places? Hell, even Walmart. And you just go pick up one of those bell cams just because, man, it's just almost just like leaving uh, the house without your cell phone or the mask nowadays. Man, us fragheads, man, we hate leaving the house knowing we forgot to spray something on for the day. Um, so with that being said, man, I hope you guys enjoy this stuff, man. If you do, help a brother out, man. Share this thing, okay? We're trying to do big things over here. You see, this is a little balcony I got to live on because you guys ain't helping the player out. I'm trying to live big, okay? I'm just kidding with you guys, man. Hey, but anyways, let's get into this fragrance. Again, this was a subscriber request, man. I forgot who the hell it was, so uh, sorry for that. But this one is Jay Parlay's Yes, I Am The King. Now, they do have other ones, so be careful. There's Yes, I Am The King Legend. I Am The King Lion. Jay Parlay, they actually have a whole website now. The thing is, is their website seems like they only ship to other countries. Maybe they do ship to the U.S., I don't know. But if you go to their actual website, jayparlays.com, you can see all their fragrances. And then what I usually like to do is see what they're on over there. Go to, you know, eBay, go to Fragrance Net, Fragrance X, and go see if they got them. So, um, this one ran me about $35. Again, eBay, man. Go check out eBay first, you guys, because a lot of times you guys put that offer in and you guys win a few times. But, actually just, just caught a little a glimpse of a review on this fragrance. And um, it is a, another Savage clone, if you will. Now... The top notes are a little different. The middle is a little bit different. Everything else is pretty much spot on. You know, uh, the top has this bargamot orange, apple, and grapefruit in this one, okay? You guys already know the Sauvage EDT pretty much has that bargamot, and then it has that pepper, that fresh black pepper smell and stuff like that. Um, so there are a few differences in here, but people are saying this is a Sauvage clone. <sighs> Is it me or is Savage kind of getting a little boring now? Especially if you smell a lot of the clones, man. It's like, man, it's to the point where I'm just kind of getting rid of a lot of my Savage clones, if you will. And, you know, just stick to one. But, hey, you guys, if you have not smelled Savage Elixir, go out there and smell it, okay? I'm telling you, it is not the same as the regular Savages. The EDT, EDP, Cool Spray, it is so much different. You guys got to go check that out, man. Eventually, I am going to buy that one because I'm telling you guys, that is the best Sauvage in the whole lineup. And that is not just me hyping it up. I did get a little sample spray. I would have did a review on that, but I want to do a review on that when I get the, the full bottle. And then plus, I'm pretty sure there's a gazillion reviews of it already because it's the next Hype Master. But man, that one is so awesome. That is pretty much what like all the Maddens are, okay? You got Madden 18, 19, 20. They're all pretty much the same. They do small things, just small little things, but keep, people keep buying it, so they keep making it. And then, say Madden 22 comes out, and they overhaul everything, but they still make it feel like all the other Maddens prior. 
that is exactly what Sauvage Elixir is, you guys. You get this nice little hint of Sauvage, but then most of it is like this warm, spicy. That stuff is beautiful, you guys. So go check that out. But here we go. This is that J Parlay right here. This is that Yes, I Am The King. This is a EDT concentration. So now the cool thing, you know, the, I mean, the bad thing actually about this is it is not an EDP. Now you guys already know EDPs is not the end all be all in all fragrances. Some EDTs last longer than EDPs. Um, personally, it seems like EDTs are more of a projection type thing where EDPs are more on the longevity side of things. Okay, Obviously, there's more oil concentrations in your EDPs and your EDTs. So uh, with that being said, especially with these being like one of those clone houses, I was expecting like an EDP, but this is not. And I'm almost kind of thinking if this is a Sauvage clone, it might be more towards that EDP because you guys already know the EDP kind of had a little bit more of a sweetness to it up at the top. And that's most likely from that apple, the orange and grapefruits. Now, I'm not sure if the EDP actually had those, but I'm just assuming because the EDT has uh, doesn't have the apple and the grapefruit at the top. Maybe this is more of an EDP clone. So let's check that out. But overall, a nice bottle. Kind of reminds me of one of those Jimmy Choo bottles a little bit, if you will. But there it is, the I Am The King. I think that is a lion head right there. And nice detailing right there with that G right there at the top. And there is batch code alert stuff down here. So that's one good thing I'm liking about this more than some of those Arabian companies. Those Arabian companies, you get a batch code sometimes. Sometimes you don't on the box. And then on the bottom bottle, there's really nothing. So this one does have that. So here we go. beautiful atomizer um i don't think it is a pressure sensitive atomizer however it does shoot out a nice blast of juice and i didn't know this until now but you do got that magnetic cap which is very satisfying man you guys already know man if you guys have those magnetic caps frag heads only uh, only us guys will know this okay that we love doing that just one-handed thing like that i don't know it's almost like a fidget spinner for those you know kids that just can't sit still and need to move things but this is like our fidget spinner right here right but here we go but you know in the air again you definitely are gonna get savage style vibes okay edt edp it doesn't matter but let me get closer to it to see so okay so in the air yes It'd be hard to find someone who doesn't think Sauvage, especially people who have smelt Sauvage before, because honestly, there are some people that still don't know what Sauvage is. You can go up to someone and say, hey, have you ever heard of Sauvage? And some people still don't know what it is. But for the most part, the most people that actually know what Sauvage is, they will think that you got Sauvage on. Now, where this doesn't have that... This doesn't kind of have that fresh pepper smell in it that Sauvage does, and because it's not in the note breakdown, but what it does have is that nice citrusy. Now, you guys already know grapefruit orange kind of has that more of a sweeter smell than like a bergamot or a lime. Lime's got that sourness or whatever. Orange and grapefruit, grapefruit kind of has that sweet and sour smell to it where orange is kind of more sweet kind of got that bitterness as well which is very nice i am getting a slight bit of apple it's not much it's it's not like you're gonna go into this smelling a fresh cut up apple okay this is more like the skin if you were to peel an apple you kind of get a little bit of that sweetness from smelling the skin but you get more of that fresh earthiness from that apple you got some in the now in the heart notes you got some elemi we got some lavender and geranium that lavender and elemi is most likely going to give it this kind of more grown-up vibish smell that elemi and that lavender lavender is usually what you'll find in a lot of those barbershop fragrances which is very nice you know the problem with this fragrance and that's not to say this is a bad fragrance you guys if you if you don't have savage money okay a lot of us don't okay a lot of us lost jobs and stuff like that a lot of us don't have that much money if you don't have savage style money 
there's nothing wrong with getting a Savage clone because honestly, again, you'll be hard to find someone that, especially if you're a fragrance kid, okay? Someone who is gonna be super knowledgeable just like you on fragrances, okay? So it's very, it's, it, it's very rare that I'm gonna step into the same building as a Ross Carlos or a Jeremy Fragrance or a Joy, okay? I'm not gonna step in the same spot as those guys, okay? We probably will never meet in person. I'll probably never meet Jeremy Fragrance. We'll probably never be in the same building. Who knows, Big Beard, B, Cupid knows, all those guys. We probably will never be in the same building together, okay? Most of the time, you're in the building with random Joes, okay? You're at a club, you're at a wedding, doesn't matter. You're in there with random Joes that don't know that much about fragrances. All they know is if something smells good. And you guys, this does smell very, very good. It smells pretty much exactly like Savage. Again, if you sprayed this on, you went heavy with it, because you're probably gonna need, this one doesn't seem as loud as Savage, However, if you probably go heavy with the sprays, maybe go like five or six sprays with this, you're gonna get that nice projection. I'm sure if you spray this on clothes, you're gonna get some nice longevity as well, performance and stuff like that. Nice sillage, nice little scent trail going. But, you guys, again, if you don't have Savage style money, okay? You don't have the $100 to spend on a Savage. Go out there and try this, okay? It smells super identical to Savage, especially up in the air. Where it kind of differs just a little bit is at the, if you smell close to the skin, you kind of get that nice extra like citrusy kind of fruity smells, especially from that grapefruit, a little bit from the apple and orange. But then again, most of the smell up in the air, again, you guys, most of the smells that people are gonna get from you are not the smell that you're gonna smell from the skin. Again, you smell here, smells different from what you actually smell in the air. Most of the time, people are gonna smell what is in the air, okay? Because the only the only person that might smell the differences is one of your, you know, if you got your spouse with you or anything like that, someone that you're probably gonna give a hug to, okay? Maybe that. But for the most part, people are gonna smell that sillage, that scent trail, that scent bubble. That scent bubble is so much different from what they're gonna smell on skin. So again, with that being said, this smells just like Sauvage, it's a damn good take on it too. There was no strong hint of alcohol right up at the back because when I did spray it, I did smell it up in this area, okay? So I'm pretty sure if you go spray and heavy with this, like four to five, six sprays, you're gonna get a nice little scent bubble. So again, my problem is, is that, like I said, Sauvage is starting to get a little boring, okay? Now that's not to say this is a bad fragrance. Again, this is a excellent fragrance. If you don't have that Sauvage money, maybe you just like Sauvage, okay? Maybe maybe, maybe you like Sauvage so much that you wanna see what other clones are doing. Maybe maybe you like you bought a couple of Sauvages, now you're kinda broke. Now you gotta find something that can, you know, replicate that Sauvage. This will definitely do it at a fraction of the cost about this is about half the cost of a bottle of Sauvage. You can get two of these, okay? So if you're running on that Sauvage, maybe you only want to use Sauvage for special occasions. You know, sometimes like me, fellas, like I'm, I'm so cheap that even my, you guys know this, right? Even my really fancy bottles of fragrance, okay? The ones that I really want to use for special occasions it's like even if I spray like three or four sprays, knowing I have 100 ml, I kind of like in the back of my mind, it's like, oh my God, I use four. It's not a full bottle no more. Oh my God, I'm going to run out of this soon. And you know you're going to have that for a lifetime. It's just something that I, I don't know. It's something that kind of worries me when I spray some stuff. Like I got, I got some more expensive bottles that it's like, man, I spray it and I'm like kind of shy with the trigger because I don't want to use too much. But hey, that's just me. I don't know if anyone else does that as well. But, there you guys go. You guys already know this being a Sauvage clone. This is pretty much a very versatile fragrance. Wear it in the winter, wear it in the summer, wear it in the fall. Wear it to work, wear it to the club. Doesn't matter, it's very versatile, smells great. It's got that nice, fresh kind of fougere type smell, okay? That fougere most likely coming from that lavender, that kind of barbershoppy smell, okay? Again, beautiful fragrance at the base. 
we do have patchouli, some ambergris, vetiver, and musk that's going to kind of freshen it all out. You guys already know that. But again, from skin, I'm telling you guys, tr just try it yourself, okay? When you spray Sauvage on, okay? Walk around a little bit, smell the air. It smells so much different than when you actually whiff your hand because when I whiff this from my hand, it smells, it kind of reminds me a little bit of Sauvage, but it's more of what I'm getting in the air, that scent bubble that kind of really makes me think Sauvage. So again, you guys, depending on who you're gonna wear it for, where and why and how you're gonna wear it. Again, if you don't have the Savage money, people are gonna think you're wearing Savage, okay? With that being said, I'm gonna get up out of here. I hope you guys enjoyed that video, sir. You know who you are. You requested this. I did it for you, man. <sighs> Not the damn Savage clone. But I like it. Getting bored of Savage, but I like this. But there you guys go. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, hit the likes, comment, and subscribe. And now watch me get some thumbnail action, okay?